hello, hello. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different from my normal gaming content. Uh, I've been having a PC issue for a good while now that has actually prevented me from creating content because I can't record PC games, I can't even play them. To give context to the problem that I've had is my monitor would shut down and it, it would, I, would, I don't wanna say shut down, it didn't shut down, but it would lose signal to my RTX 3060. And what would go down is after playing a video game for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes, and sometimes even less than that, I would get a black screen on my my monitor and it would say no signal detected for my RTX 3060. Uh, that happened on repeat. It would just every single day it would happen and it would only happen whenever I played any kind of game on my system. I have no idea what caused it in terms of like what started the issue. I have some ideas but I have no way to confirm whether or not that's exactly what happened because I'm just by no means an expert but what happened originally was I had a bad radiator installed right so I bought my PC from Cyberpower which is arguably one of the worst PC companies I've ever bought from uh, and what went down is they put my radiator and like my pump they installed it like this where it was um but on the left side of the case and they had all the flow wrong and it, it just it, it caused air bubbles in the pump and it died and I had to buy a replacement about seven months into owning this PC and cyber power would not um, you know th they wouldn't replace it they wouldn't uh, give me any kind of RMA on it they wouldn't do anything they they just said you know sorry can't help you I'm like okay so you sell me this garbage installation thing and you're not going to take responsibility for it cool company not going to buy from them again but yeah they installed the radiator like this pump died in about seven months and i had to buy a replacement one which involved me taking apart the whole pc having to reinstall some things and everything like that and disconnect wires and i think what happened is it caused some setting to fuck up with my gpu fans so what was causing my direct issue is my gpu fans were not cooling it would like the graphics card was overheating and how i was able to diagnose this issue is i went to google and i was like looking up the normal temperatures for a you know just sitting at idle and this is one of the things that i came across which wasn't alarming because it was like normally the temperature under 50 celsius is fine for idle state i disagree with that now because i can get my temperatures as low as 35 celsius without any kind of crazy jet engine noise ramping or whatever so it wasn't you know this was already a red flag in terms of like finding adequate information that was correct but this was at least a decent benchmark for me to try and understand like okay well my gpu is sitting at you know 50 celsius and mine was above that mine was reaching 60 celsius at idle which is 10 more than what this post is telling me so that was already red flag number one the next clue that I had was I noticed that I would get this DWM crash error, which is just the desktop windows manager failing and it would crash while playing a game. And my clue was that it uses the GPU fans plus the black screen. So what was happening is my GPU fans, whenever I was playing the game, it would not, my fans would not work, but my fans would kick up after the game, like after everything crashed. So once I lost a signal to my monitor and everything, my fans went full speed. They started ramping to rapidly cool the system. And then it like the damage was already done. And I would have the only way the system would fix is if I restarted it and I had to do the whole thing all over again. So for whatever reason, my GPU fans were not kicking up when they were supposed to. And only when the card was severely overheating, which was roughly around 70 to 80 Celsius is when the shutdown would happen. And that was the problem. Now, how I was able to diagnose the issue and figure out if this was the correct, you know, same problem uh, is I opened up task manager. I went over to the performance tab down here in the GPU section. I was looking at my GPU temperatures. And as you can see, I'm sitting at a breezy 36 Celsius. That is nice. That's, you know, I'm, I'm getting 20 less than what the, you know, normal post is, which is apparently 50 Celsius. I disagree with 50 Celsius being the idle temperature. If you can get as low as 35, I would go for lower always. But anyway, 
I figured out that being at 50 to 60 Celsius was a little weird and strange. So what I decided to do next to keep testing and try and figure out what the problem was is I played three different video games. I loaded up Remnant from the Ashes 2, which is a more graphically modern title, which has more you know graphical settings that are a, little, a bit more demanding and intense. And then I loaded up World of Warcraft and then I played uh, Valheim. Both World of Warcraft and Valheim were designed to play on a potato system. World of Warcraft has like 20 plus years of optimization and settings to make sure that it can run on some of the lower end systems. And I mean, I say some, all of them, all lower end systems. And then Valheim is just a very low graphically uh, intense game. It has no demand whatsoever. It's It can run on like a fucking phone if you really wanted to. It's zero intensity. It's not that crazy. Now, the one thing that they all shared is that the GPU temperatures would all rise to 80 plus and that would cause my GPU's safety function to kick up and it would shut down to protect itself. That was the main issue. So if you guys don't know or aren't familiar with just PCs like myself, um, every part that can overheat has a built-in safety function that will shut down after reaching a certain threshold. So about 80 Celsius is already the alarming territory, especially if you're playing something that is not graphically intense like Valheim. It should be nowhere near 80 Celsius on a game that low resolution. So that is strange that they, um, you know, with three games that all have different graphical intensities, they all reach 80 Celsius. Now, the other thing that I thought was strange is they all reach that temperature at different time frames. So Remnant from the Ashes 2 was clearly the one that would reach the threshold much quicker because it is a more modern and demanding title and that World of Warcraft would take about maybe 20 minutes, whereas Remnant would take about less than five. And then Valheim, it would take about 45 minutes for it to reach the threshold before it shut down. Now, to any person that's not diagnosing this issue, you guys would probably, you know, think that, oh, my PC is just being random and it's no, it's not being random. It's because the GPU temperature is overheating at different time frames, not because it's it's being random it's because you're playing maybe different titles that don't um you know reach the temperatures as is you know fast as some other titles but i digress they all go to the same exact temperature which is 80 celsius which will be the threshold for when my graphics card safety feature kicks in and shuts down so once i figured out my gpu temperatures were the problem i needed to figure out how to lower the temperatures and the best way i found to do that is loading up msi afterburner and manually controlling the fans this program is completely free i will put it in the description down below and you guys can download it for yourself and it might look a little different you know for you i don't know what versions later in the future that this is going to come out with where you know it looks different or whatever but this is what mine currently looks like and um what i did was i left pretty much everything the same i didn't touch curves i didn't touch voltage i don't even know how to touch this uh, i left the clocks the same the only thing i changed was the fan settings so i put the power limit at 100 temperature limit at, at 80 and then i turned off the link section right here i turned this off and then i clicked fan sync and then i went over here to the settings tab opened the uh, the settings went over to fan i put this axis at 40 and i put this axis at 60 right here so that is all i changed i hit apply and then i hit okay and then I went over here and then you click this little check mark and then this says apply and then you can go right here to save the profile. So it's a, like a preset. So you can click save and then you select one of these numbers over here and then you can just automatically click it and it'll go to the settings and then you hit apply and you're good to go. Once you do that, you want to go up here to the top right corner and select apply at Windows startup. So whenever you turn on your PC and upon startup, it will automatically default to the settings. So that way you don't have to manually do this every single time. And to make sure that that happens on a regular basis, you can go to startup here and I'm pretty sure you can enable like MSI afterburner or like you can have it like load up at whatever point in time. I don't really see it here, but like I, I just open up MSI, you know, afterburner manually and that's what i did and um yeah that's all i did to fix my issue make sure that whenever you're done setting all your temps and everything like that you can go ahead and click minimize 
do not close. If you close this, it will shut down MSI Afterburner and your fans will revert back to whatever shit settings they're on and it will no longer work. And to show you guys just like how insane this is, as you can see right now, my GPU temperatures are 36, 37 Celsius. I'm going to close MSI Afterburner just for the sake of example. And I'm going to show you guys how much of a difference it makes. So as you can see, I'm idling around 36, 37 D and then now it's no longer, you know, going back and forth and it will gradually raise to about 38 and it'll reach probably around 42, 43 Celsius. My room is pretty chilly right now, so it's probably not going to go super high, but it'll reach probably like 40 plus to a degree. And that's, you know, where we're at. And you can see it's already at 39 C and it'll probably go up to 40 here in a second. There you go. Uh, it's going back and forth, but it'll probably go to 41 here in a minute. And then it'll just keep going all the way till it reaches 50. And that's just sitting at idle doing nothing. If I were to play a video game, it would raise all the way to 50 plus, And then after a certain time frame, it would reach 80 Celsius. And then the safety feature will kick in and the graphics card will shut itself down and ultimately result in a complete system reboot. There you go. You, you can tell it's gone up from from 36 37 celsius to 43 and it's going to keep gradually getting worse and worse until it reaches that threshold where it's going to shut down so for the sake of just not burning my pc and breaking any parts or causing any permanent damage i'm going to reload up msi afterburner and all i'm going to do is select my preset hit apply and then minimize and we're done and then it should go back to normal and we'll reopen up task manager and you will watch the temperatures they will go right back down to 36 37 celsius after about a couple minutes and that's it and yeah there you have it that's been my issue and this is how i fixed it don't necessarily believe everything you see on like reddit posts and everything like that i went through a lot of information trying to find the issue and the solution and a lot of people are just saying oh your graphics card is dying oh your motherboard is the issue oh your ram is the issue sometimes it's as simple as just like you know your gpu fans are not working for whatever reason because you're an idiot and you mess something up or whatever i don't know i definitely mess something up because i'm an idiot so that's that's just what it is that's how i fix my problem hopefully this fixes your issue i just want to make sure that you guys understand i am by no means a tech support guru i don't know anything about pcs this is nothing but trial and error <laughs> that is all i know how to do and that's how i fix my issue so please don't go in the comment sections and begging and asking me to help fix your systems because i don't know how to i am just telling you my solution that i came across that fixed my problem and has solved my issues that is it i do not know how to fix every pc issue i am a complete nub i don't know nothing so just either try this and if it works cool if it doesn't i'm very sorry and i hope you find your issue but yeah that's it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and it helps i will talk to you guys in the next one Bye bye